Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening subscribers and to all the YouTubers out there and especially to all the Hello Kitty fans. Yes, today I'm going to share with you my 15 most favorite plushies. And the reason why I'm doing it is because A, I don't remember if I ever did one and B, because Universal City Walk is opening up a Hello Kitty cafe which I will be missing out on the grand opening. And so I'm having FOMO. And so to keep my mind occupied, I decided I'm going to do something Hello Kitty related and share with you my 15 favorite plushies. And these, the rest of it is not in order except for these first two here. And why is these first two? Um, is my most favorite because this one here is what started it all. Yes. Okay. I know I have seen Hello Kitty, you know, prints and everything um, way back when, but, you know, my parents were strict. They didn't really buy me much Hello Kitty stuff because, you know, it's too expensive, but I have seen, you know, the tote bags and all that. So that is when I first took notice of it, but it is this Hello Kitty plush that is my very first Hello Kitty that I have ever, ever owned. Yes, this is what started it all. And it is dirty. So if anyone knows of anything where I can clean it without ruining this material, please let me know because it's so old. Um, this is made in 1976. Yep, I got it back in 76. And so this is why this one is so special to me. And I, yes, I have it in a little Ziploc bag so I won't get it dirty. So, but I just took it out so I can share it with you all. And so my next one, next favorite one is this one. And that is because my hubby got this for me for Christmas. This is when we were dating and, and he got this for me and he knew I'm a big Hello Kitty fan. So this one means a lot so that is why and the rest of it are not in any particular order but I'm just going to share with you and explain why these are my favorite so this one here as you all know I love Christmas and this one I saw it at Sanrio and it was like way back when it was like $200 I believe and this is the first time I saw like a huge Hello Kitty plushie. Or I think they call it door stoppers now. I wanted it so bad, but $200 is just way too much. But luckily for me, I came by the store like, what is it called? Um, day after Christmas, you know, sale. And yep, they had a sale and, and it was 50% off. Yes, so, and I was just so happy that they still have it. It wasn't sold. So, I, so that is why this one is my, one of my favorites because it's my first humongous plushie of Hello Kitty and it's Christmas theme. The next one here is a plush that I got in Taiwan Airport. And I believe it's in the Eva, Eva airline. And it is so unique and so different. And it comes with this little one here too. So it comes as a, as a set. And it's so different. I have never seen anything like it. So that's why this one is so special. And this one is because, you know, Hello Kitty theme. But because also my mother-in-law got this for me. And it, ha it, it plays Christmas music when you wind up the thing. And so that's why it's so special it's so cute and 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 she surprised me with it this one i love it because it makes me think of japan i did not get it in japan um but this one makes me think of japan and i just love the colors the kimono it's just yeah it's just beautiful that's why i love this one when i was in japan i didn't see any hello kitty plushes that I wanted because it looked kind of generic when I was there. The only thing I did see maybe I think was the 50th anniversary edition ones, but I don't recall if it was a plushie or not. And this one here I like, or it's one of my favorite ones, or consider my favorite one is because of the pink 
the tone of the pink. I've never seen anything like that. And so that is why. Next, yes, this is the Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty. And the reason why I like this one is because I love the little um, color sprinkles around her face or her head. I just love all the different colors. So that is why. And next, because it's all the pink colors here. This one is one of the newer ones I recently got. I think it was last year. And of course, this is the Hello Kitty Cafe plushie. And I ordered it online. And I just love the dress. And it's you know food related. So that is why. And that's also you know, it's kind of on the bigger side. And this one here I got from Hong Kong. And at their San Real store, when I first saw this, like I have never seen a gold, a golden looking Hello Kitty. So that's why I love this one so much, or it's part one of my favorites in the collection. And this one is most recently, like a few weeks ago. And this is a Tokidoki um, Hello Kitty plushie. And of course, again, with the sprinkles I love and ice cream. So that is why that is one of my favorites now also. And then, of course, yes, the Dodgers Hello Kitty plushie. And it has the 50th anniversary on here. And this one means a lot to me, too, because your husband and I haven't been to a baseball game in so long. And it was just so fun to attend this one here with Hello Kitty and had a picture with Hello Kitty. And also, we've been to the other games like way back when, when you know, when they, we started giving out um, Hello Kitty plushies way back when, but back then it was small, but this one is a pretty good size. So, so I'm really happy about it. And then the last two here is because it's pink. And I just love how the different tones of pink it is. And that's how I got my YouTube name, Love Pink Hello Kitty, because I just love pink <laughs> Hello Kitty. But, you know, of course, I love it all. But, yeah, so so these are all my top 15 favorite Hello Kitty plushies. And I just want to thank everyone for watching. And, um, yeah, so... If you want to see, like, if you want me to unwrap the bag, if you want to see the plushies in more detail, please let me know. But otherwise, um, thank you everyone for watching again and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you. Bye.